Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be part 3 of the video on kind of the mystical eggs of all the different elementals. And this is kind of a fun series because although I'm making Easter eggs, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Maybe something that is out of the box and certainly something that you could use at different times of the year other than just Easter and making beautiful decor pieces. So it's going to be a lot of fun today guys. Let's get started. So the first egg was a lot of fun, this galactic style Easter egg. And this is something that could certainly fit into the children's room with all of their space theme, um, but it, or anywhere really, but it's just such a neat and beautiful egg. And so I started this egg off by just painting it black, um, but I mixed in some blues and also some purples in certain areas of the egg to give it a little bit more dimension to the black and also to give a little bit of light to the areas where it was going to add a lot of stars. Bars. After I've painted the egg, I take white paint on a toothbrush and just splatter that around to make it look like small stars. I then added a little bit of additional glitter um, paint that's just going to give it a little bit more sparkle to make it look a little bit more like the galaxy that I was trying to create. Now after the egg is dry, I take some golden stars that I have from this craft set from the Dollar Tree that are just these embellishments. You can use them in resin or anything. And so it's a nice product, um, especially for the price. And I go ahead and glue these on there in just a little bit of a pattern that I thought was fun. Um, but you can put them on there in any way that you like. So I had this beautiful planetary pin with all the rhinestones on it. And so I had the idea to take this small acrylic box and just add that to the bottom of this to create somewhat of a little jewelry box. And so I thought that that was a really cute idea because then it's almost like a little display piece as well and then of course on top I added this little UFO but to pull in a little bit of uh, interest from the galactic pin that I have there I wanted to make sure to add some gemstones to the UFO as well just to kind of cause a little bit of cohesiveness and I think that the overall result is very sweet definitely a little bit out of this world for those of you who like alternative things Now the next egg is something a little bit more tropical in its feel, so I'm making a mermaid inspired egg. And so what I did was I took that wooden egg and I did an acrylic pour with blue paint around the bottom. And this is a really good technique because it's an easy way to get an ocean or water feel or look. Um, and so I just went ahead and moved that around the egg so it looked like water splashing up on the side and let that dry. Then on top of the egg I took some of seashells I had from a recent trip and just actually stood those up on top and like a display piece and then I added some beautiful blue beads to the inside of that seashell as if it was a little treasure cove and I think that the result is so nice when you when you have that standing up. I actually added a little bit of one of those acrylic boxes to the bottom of this egg as well. I can link those in the description box below. You can get those on Amazon. And in that acrylic box I actually added sand from a recent vacation to make it a little bit more of a souvenir feeling as well as some of these green stones um, that are just some broken glass pieces that I have in my craft supply and it really the mixture of them really looks nice together and I put a little bit of glue on this lid because you definitely don't want that to open up when you lift up this egg because it'll make a mess but certainly the overall look is very beautiful and something I can use even into the summertime uh, next to my other seashell or beach vibe decor. Thank you. 
And this last egg was a fun project and it was a little bit inspired by this black and gold egg that I made last year, that jumbo egg that reminds me of a dragon's egg. And so I decided to make a miniature dragon's egg to go with that. What I did was paint that with a gold and also a black and just a, an alternate um, geometric type of pattern. And then what I did was I went ahead and added my egg up on a stand and so I used a gold lid off of an old container and then I put that on a wooden base as well just to make sure that that was going to have a, an elegant appearance. Those wooden rounds, by the way, I always find those at Hobby Lobby. They typically have them in seasonal, especially after um, after fall. And so, just keep an eye out for you know the springtime and fall time decor there because they always have things like that, and they're always left over because no one knows what to do with them. But I use them in a bazillion ways for craft projects. So after I have the base applied, I want to add this really pretty crystal stone that I have this pyrite and I'm gonna put that on the the base and then I am going to be adding the dragon that I painted on top of that and so this little dragon was actually blue and white and I added some black to him just to make it look a little bit more cohesive and less like a toy and I added some gold tips to the wings as well as a little gold bead in the mouth because I didn't want it to look like a little plastic toy I wanted it to look like maybe a little metal a dragon or something like this um, that I added to the piece and I think by cha changing the color of it and painting it black really achieved that look. After I glued my little dragon on I went ahead and started to add my stones as little kind of dragon scale on the side of this and so I wanted to kind of make a nod so I started all the way at the top with a little marble that looked like a little bit of a dragon eye I guess <laughs> to me it does and then I um, added these scales the entire way down and around the egg. After I have my scales on, I do add a little bit of the gold paint to the tips. As well, I took a, another gemstone that was clear and I added some gold paint to the back with a little bit of black to make it look like an eye. And I added that to the egg as well. And so one of the things that I did with this egg is all of these things are somewhat suggestive of a dragon egg, but not necessarily, you know, like I was painting a dragon on the egg. So I like that about it. I think that it's a very interesting piece and certainly will look really cool next to that black and gold egg. Certainly these eggs appeal to the magical minds of the children in your life as well as yours if you are into alternative type things. And So I hope that these eggs inspired you to see something new and potentially a different way that you could work and make with these wooden beautiful eggs. And so I, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite one. I had so much fun with you guys today and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.